Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jay here, and uh, I'll be presenting you another tutorial on how to root the HTC One. You'll need a couple of files, which I'll provide all of them in the more info box down below. And also, uh, these are the files that you'll need: the HTC drivers, you know, for you know your phone, your fastboot files, which you need to get your unlock token, and I'll have a link to your HTC Dev, which I'm about to go to now. Now, uh, you want to go to HTC Dev to begin the bootloader unlocking process. I'll just go ahead and go to the website now, HTCDev.com. There we go. Now, once you're in HTC Dev, if you haven't um, made an account yet, you should register now. And uh, but otherwise, um, I've already registered an account, so I'll just log in. What you want to do after that, after it's been logged in, you just want to go to the unlock bootloader. Uh, page. Uh, when you select your device, just scroll all the way to the bottom to all other supported models. Then you want to click Begin Unlock Bootloader, the button. Now, are you sure you want to continue? Click Yes. And then you'll be presented with two checkboxes around about now. Legal terms that this will void warranty and all that. Now, unlocking the bootloader instructions, we'll just skip all that, proceed to step 5, and also proceed to step 8 because we have all the files. Now this is what you need to do. After you've downloaded the uh, fastboot files, um, all you have to do is go to the folder where your fastboot files have been extracted to. And we want to use our little Windows 7 trick here. We go Shift and right click, and then open Commando Win Command Window here. A Commando Window. Exciting. Now before we do all that, what you want to do on your device is open it up and then go over to the Settings menu. Scroll down to the battery place, power, like that, and scroll to the bottom and unable, uncheck fast boot, so we can properly shut down our device. After that, you just want to go ahead and power off. Once your phone is powered off, all you want to do is hold the volume down button and power button until you see this fast boot menu. Now, um, what you want to do now is grab a USB place and plug it in. Mine says unlocked, but that's because I've already unlocked it in a previous thing I've done. And what you want to do is plug in the USB, which is connected to your computer, and press power when uh, on the selected fastboot menu kind of thing. Uh, once you go to the fastboot USB, in the red little box. Now this is when you want to type in fastboot OEM uh, get underscore identifier underscore token. When you press answer, you want you'll see these bunch of numbers and letters. You want to right click and mark, and you will need to include the identified token start and the token end. Once you've marked it, press enter to copy it. And on the unlock device page, what you want to do is paste the unlock token in and hit submit. Now, once it says token submitted successfully, what you want to do is go to your email and check for the confirmation email with your unlock code dot bin and further instructions. Once you have the email open, what you want to do is go down to the bottom with your attachment, download the unlock code dot bin there. Once it is done downloading, I'm just gonna move it over to where the rest of the fastboot and ADB files are for convenience. Once that has been done, you want to put your device back into the fastboot USB mode and plug it into your computer. Now all you have to do is type in fastboot flash flash unlock token uh, and then what you want to do is drag in from your fastboot folder the unlock token dot bin onto the command window and then hit enter. You should see that the unlock token has been flashed successfully. All you have to do now your device screen should look a little something like this. When you get up to this stage what you want to do is press volume up to select the yes button and then hit the power button to select it. Your phone will reboot and your phone will be factory reset. Next you're going to want to download super user zip to flash to your device. I'll provide a link in the more info for this file. Now what you want to do after you've downloaded it, copy it to the main directory or just copy it into your device somewhere. After you have copied, you want to reboot into the fastboot USB menu. Once your phone has booted into the fastboot USB menu, go back to your command window and then type in fastboot flash recovery and drag in the recovery that you have downloaded using the links provided down below you get three options and once you've down, uh, drag that into the command window hit enter 
and wait till you get a success message that it has been flashed successfully. Once that's done, go back to your phone and then press volume down to select the reboot option and hit the power button to select it. Your phone should then reboot into the recovery menu. Okay, now that we're in Clockwork mod, mod recovery, install zip from SD card, choose zip, and scroll all the way to the bottom to our update super user 151. Tap on that. Yes. Okay, done. Once it's done, just go back. Reboot system now. Uh, no. Okay. We just unlock this quickly and we scroll all the way down to the list. Then we have it. Super user has been installed. Over there. Like that. Um, you also want to check with your in the Play Store to see if there are any updates to Super user. Now, I've just quickly downloaded um, Titanium Backup to test the super user out, and indeed it has worked. Hooray! Now, your device has been rooted successfully, thanks to my help, I guess. Um, also, Chain Fire for the uh, super user zip. Feel free to uh, uh, support this video and my channel by leaving a like and comment below. Here is me demonstrating a visual like with a thumbs up really quick. Also subscribe if you want to see further videos about S-offing your device and also installing ROMs. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.